feel free to grab your sketchbook and join the fun because today I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything I know about art styles. Hello my wonderful magical sparks! Welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here and in today's video I'm going to be filling in my favorite sketchbook spread yet and I'm also going to be telling you guys about art style and pretty much everything I've learned along the way. I'll be splitting this video up into like kind of mini sections but don't worry I'll add chapters in the description below. Oh my gosh, art style is such a big subject. It's like something that people tend to really obsess over because everyone just wants to have that unique art style and always like I have people asking me like how did you find your art style how did you get there what did you do are you happy with where you're at and today we're going to be kind of going through each of those things can we just take a moment to appreciate this adorable little plant I'm thinking of naming her Flora and she's gonna be my new desk pet so you guys are gonna get a lot more of her in my future videos also before we start I would like to say that this page was just one where I just kind of like started drawing because I was bored and I just wanted to draw and then I loved how the two drawings turned out and I was like, hold on, I want to film the rest of this. So I decided to turn these two drawings into like a full spread kind of thing. And that's what's going to be happening in the background. But with all that aside, let's get on to the art style part of this video. Okay, so what is art style? Now that will differ from person to person. But the way that I see art style, it's like kind of just your way of drawing it's how you express yourself and it's generally something that's kind of distinguishable because in my opinion no one can draw in the exact exact way that someone else can i mean if you try to of course but in the end the way you express yourselves and the way you just kind of create your drawings will differ in the same way that we're all different from each but other hey doesn't being different make us more special and more unique it's kind of like the same way that like no one can laugh in the same way you do in that same sense no one can express their art in the same way that you do and i feel like one of the problems is that people are always searching for this art style based on what's like kind of trending in the art community currently or just depending on what they like and there's nothing wrong with wanting to improve or being inspired but it's also really important to think about the fact that we technically all do have our own art styles and the way you're creating art right now at this moment is your current art style in your art journey so yes art styles are something that has like a lot of different ways to be described and there is really just a lot of ways you can think about it but the way i think about it in terms of the question what is art style is i think about art style as the way you express yourself and express your love for art and now the next thing i want to talk about is finding your art style now this is a question that i've personally been asked a lot and it's pretty much just along the lines of how did you find your art style can you tell me how so i can kind of find mine like can you give me tips and whenever someone asks me that question i kind of just freeze on the spot because i don't know how to respond to that like we're all on our art journey and we all tend to draw random things but gradually you will see your style kind of develop and change and grow as you do and that's kind of what happened with me so if you check out a lot of other videos on youtube they'll tell you tips on how you can find your art style and i feel like a lot of those tips did apply to me i did look at artists who inspired me and i did look at the things around me and i did take little bits and pieces from each thing to put together my own art style but it's also just i guess it kind of just represents me and how i like my art like from the inside i guess <laughs> goodness i don't know what i'm saying and at this point in the video i don't know what to draw either but my point is when it comes to finding your art style there is really no right or wrong way so i guess one thing you can do is check out videos on youtube that tell you different ways to find your art style they kind of like give you a step-by-step -step guide like do this first do that second see if that helps you and if that doesn't don't stress because your art style is something that you will tend to gradually find and now that actually kind of transitions well into the next thing i want to talk about which is Hating your art style and your art style ultimately causing art block. Now, this is a topic I can keep on going on about because like for me last year, this is one of the biggest things I experienced in the first half of the year and it really just made me love art, then it made me hate art, then it made me love art again. And if you guys check out my sketchbook tour of the very first sketchbook I filled in in 2020, it'll make sense. And for all my wonderful magical sparks who are subscribed back then, you would also know how I kept on talking about art block in a 
lot of my videos and I just kept on mentioning it and how I was trying to find a new kind of style and in the end what happened was I kind of became obsessed with finding a perfect art style like one that I could be 100% satisfied with and what that ended up doing was whenever I made a drawing that didn't look like how I wanted it to look or the art style wasn't as kind of perfect as I visualized it to be then I would start to hate my art I would want to just not draw and ultimately I had a lot of art blocks like I feel like I had way way too many art blocks not just because I was posting on YouTube but because that kind of contributed to me feeling that extra pressure to have this perfect art style that everyone would love and oh my gosh it was not fun it was not nice there are a lot of reasons why I wanted to find a different art style one was because I wanted my art to be like completely unique and completely distinguishable from every other art style in existence which is not really practical if you think about it because there are mainly like certain ways you can draw eyes i mean you can go really far and change it up a lot but in the end eyes are eyes and i forgot to think about that and another reason why i wanted to find my art style was because i really just wanted to have an art style that i was satisfied with and i also just wanted it to look more like what other youtubers art styles look like which again it's not wrong to take inspiration but i really just had this kind of thing in my mind i was like okay they have a lot of subscribers their drawings are really good so maybe if i make my art style look like their art style maybe that'll make my art good enough to be appreciated and that was such a bad mentality i wasn't really thinking properly and now i realize that and i think one of the reasons why i'm talking about this right now is because i've also gotten a couple of comments of people asking me um how they can get their art style to look like my art style and how they're aiming for that now like i said before taking inspiration is not wrong but it's really important that you don't force yourself to make your art style look exactly like another person's art style just because maybe they have a youtube channel or they have a social media account or they have a lot of followers or something that doesn't mean that it's like because of their art style like because their art style is like the best in the world or anything because that's not true everyone's art style is beautiful unique and worthy of attention and of appreciation and it's really important just to acknowledge your art for what it is and create what you love instead of kind of trying to make that perfect ideal art style because in the end what really matters more than anything else is making sure that you are having fun and you are loving the process like i can tell you me stressing over my art style last year and getting multiple art blocks was definitely not worth it and the other day i was flipping through some of my old sketchbooks and i realized how i barely ever got art block back then i only ever like got art block when i was like kind of out of ideas or i was kind of feeling burnt out but it was rarely because of art style because back then back when i didn't have a channel back when i kind of just did not feel that pressure i was enjoying art i was making whatever i wanted my sketchbook pages were the messiest thing ever but i loved it and i still love it and i really want to make my current sketchbook page is messy and not have to worry about anyone else as well and my point here is guys don't stress about art uh, not art block don't stress about art styles so much that it ends up making you hate art that it ends up taking away the fun and that it ends up giving you art block because if it goes to that extent it's definitely not worth it instead of that try and find a way that will allow you to have fun with your art to continue creating and to find your art style and go on your art journey while you're also just having lots of fun i know i know you're probably thinking all right sparkle that's easier said than done it's really hard to find that balance because everyone wants to find their art style but you know what finding balance is not easy it never is but it's a skill and it's a skill that I know you guys have because you're all very smart and you're all very capable, dedicated, passionate and determined and I believe in each and every single one of you guys, each and every single 67,800 subscribers. <laughs> um, but you know what, you guys can do it. Just believe in yourself, keep trying and never ever lose sight of what's important and that is that art is fun. You know what? That transitions well into my next point, which is about remembering. It's really important to always remember why you started drawing in the first place, why you started making art in the first place. And it's really important to remember how fun it was before things got stressful. 
and I guess that's just kind of how life is like things will tend to get stressful but but it's so important not to lose sight of what really matters and if you're here right now if you're watching this video right now you are showing that you love your art you love making art and you do care and because of that I want you guys to make sure that you never give up on art always give it a chance and always keep going you guys can do this so never forget to love the process I think that should be my new motto I say it so much like just learning to love the process but I feel like it's just so true anyways the next thing I want to talk about is consistency when it comes to art styles I had this kind of assumption in my head that each and every single drawing I make has to follow a specific art style because that is technically in quotation marks my art style right but no because you don't have to make each and every single drawing look the same because you want to make sure you're giving yourself freedom so feel free to change up different little things in each drawing just little things even work or you can go ahead and change up big things just have some fun experiment or you know what if you want to draw your drawings all in the same kind of way go ahead and do that too do whatever you love but just make sure that you don't let your art style limit you from trying new things and having that freedom so again it just comes down to finding balance and now even when it comes to my old art from last year I can see my art style has changed a lot and even in the sketchbook just each drawing like for you guys from the third person perspective it might seem like it's pretty much the same like the way i draw eyes noses and mouths but for me each time i see these little differences and i'm making these little changes along the way and i can see my art style changing and right now i'm pretty happy with where it's going but it hasn't always been that way and my drawings haven't always looked the best but you know what that's okay sometimes it's just good to learn from even the drawings we're not so proud of or satisfied with because in the end everything is just kind of a learning curve and coming back to the point i'm just trying to say here that you don't have to make each and every single drawing follow the exact same art style because part of your art journey is knowing how to kind of grow as you get older and as your art evolves and now drum roll please the very last thing I want to talk about today is satisfaction. Now, this is not something I've learned, but it's something that I've kind of wondered. Will there ever be a point in my life where I'm going to be like, hey, I love my art style. I'm really happy with where it is now. Maybe I should stop changing it. Maybe this should be my forever art style. Like, will there ever be a point where I'm going to be 100% satisfied with my art style or even just my art in general? And I think... I'm not sure because I've never experienced it, but I think that the answer is not sure. It's, I don't know. Like, is there ever a point where an artist will be satisfied with each and every single drawing they make? Is that possible? Because I feel like with us, we always want to find different ways to grow, different ways to improve, and different ways to do better. So I'm not sure, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think you'll ever be 100% satisfied with your art style? And if you are, how long do you think that satisfaction will last until you'll want to kind of change your art style or improve it in one way or another? Let me know in the comments. And another thing I wanted to talk about is hating your art style. It's something that tends to happen. It comes with frustration when your art doesn't look like what you wanted it to look like and it's normal but just know that you'll overcome it and you might hate something now but you might look back at it in just a couple of days and realize hey that wasn't that bad it was beautiful so guys just don't give up don't ever quit on art because you're all amazing artists each and every single one of us we've all drawn as a kid and we all still love drawing so keep sparkling keep drawing and let me know your thoughts about this sketchbook spread as well tell me which character out of these three is your favorite and let me know why Anyways guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!